Welcome to lesson seven. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the volume indicator. Let's get started. We're on the MT4 platform. We have the baseline, the Kijin Sen, our primary indicator, the Arun, the secondary indicator, the shaft trend cycle, and our volume indicator I'm introducing here, the Wada Ada Atar explosion. So let's uh, get into a trade here with the first single that we get. We click on some bars and we can see that price has crossed and closed over the Kijun Sen. Now we're waiting for our other indicators to give us a signal. Uh, the shaft trend cycle has given us a short signal. We're waiting for the Arun. And the Arun indicator has given us a signal. So we've got confirmation from the baseline, the primary indicator, the shaft trend cycle, uh, secondary indicator. Now let's take a look at the um, explosion here, what a our explosion. And we can see that we've got a red signal and it has crossed over top of the uh, dead pip zone and so we have enough volume. So now we can enter into the trade with our volume indicator giving us the signal. If we look at the code for the indicator Wada Atar explosion, we can see that it is not actually that impressive of an indicator. What it uses is the MACD and Bollinger bands. So it sandwiches those two signals together and gives you an output here. Now that to me is not that impressive, just putting two indicators together and then calling that a, a logical indicator to give you signals to go in and out of trades. In Forex, there's actually no such thing as volume. That's because all the lots that are being uh, bought and sold across the world, there is no central location for all that information. All the brokers use that information privately. So we cannot actually know how much volume is being bought and sold. The only thing that we can look at is volatility. And in my opinion, volatility is best used uh, with the ATR, the average true range. Any indicator that uses the ATR to uh, give you a signal or an output, in my opinion, is the best type of volume indicator and strategy quant has many volume indicators that are based on the ATR so let's go check those out we are in strategy quant software now let's add the volume indicator so we're gonna click on to builder and we're going to go into the what to build tab now let's add a condition because now we're adding another condition let's go over those conditions from the top we've got the minimum condition to enter is first the baseline which is the kijun sen which is number one number two is the arun up and down as a primary indicator number three is the shaft trend cycle which is our secondary indicator and then the new indicator for this lesson is the volume indicator so that's four so we have to have a minimum of four conditions to enter and we click on save next we're gonna go into building blocks and let's pick out some um, of the two choices here using the ATR of a volume indicator and there's lots of variables in each of them so we'll click on here ATR and you've got about two four six eight variables just using the ATR on its own and then another uh, four right here uh, using the ATR percent you've also got this one called average volume and uh, remember you can always use um, some of those other volatility indicators like the Bollinger Bands uh, are in here or the MACD, uh, which uh, makes up the Wada Atar explosion. But that indicator itself, the Wada Atar explosion, you will not find on this list. That's because all the indicators on here have to be vetted with logic before they're inputted and added to the strategy quant software. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. All the software that we used in this lesson will be in the link in the description below. If you want to support my channel, please press the like button and subscribe. And if you want to buy me a coffee and donate, that really means a lot to me. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.